And then from there, uh, the hosting rights on Friday night. So to the other preliminary final and the team that brings such momentum now. It's unadulterated thrills the way Port Adelaide plays from a team that looked beaten at half-time to their true selves after the main break. And I just said to the boys at halftime, we, we didn't come this far to, to, to give it away. You know, if we're going to go down, let's go down the way we want to play and the way we should play. Port will know they're a chance. They know they can score quickly. The first half wasn't what we wanted and um, look, we got a fairly decent spray from Kenny at half time and um, I think we really bound together as, as footballers and as brothers in that last half. Dangerous handball, Ollie White swoops, goal! Port Adelaide have kicked three in the third quarter, four in a row! It's a massive comeback. These boys know they can come from anywhere almost, you know, you know, you know with a little bit of uh, help. You know, they, they, we've played over my time um, some amazing comeback football. We don't want to play that though, we want to play the footy we played last week and get the game under control. We knew that if we held on um, into that last quarter like we did, we, we'd get up and um, we're, we were able to run over the top and I'm just so proud and actually a bit emotional at the moment. I just love, love playing with these boys. White steps on the gas from 50 out, it's straightening it's there! The team has so much character. Um, they play for each other, and Ken instills that in them. We got stab a goal, and he kicks it. So I've said to him leading into the finals, it becomes personal in the finals, and that's what it needs to be. And you've got to be able to play and stand up in big games, and uh, none bigger than finals. Port Adelaide are going to go into a preliminary final to take on Hawthorne. She's not over. We, you know, we said I said here two weeks ago we're going to give it a crack and we're still going to give it a crack. Kent can walk on water at the moment. Because of the story and because of the way they play, it was that was completely emotionally engaging oh, that yeah. last hour. Oh, even the first hour, the whole lot oh, was. Yeah. The whole lot was. I'm looking at Ross Lyon and the Dockers thinking, wow, what a performance. Unbelievable, Ross, to get the boys to play like this. I, I just couldn't believe it. And then when they switched on, or well, they switched and were able to get away with it in the second half. It was as thrilling a football I've seen this year. Mm -hmm. And the Hinkley the, mantra. We say, we say that every week about yeah, Port Adelaide, yeah. don't we? The Hinkley mantra at halftime, you think back to his mantra, his lament about semi-final night last year, and this time he said to his team, don't go out this way. Mm. If you're going to go out, go out our way. Mm. And it changed. <laughs> Is it about the coach? It's about the players? When you see performance like that from one half to the next I think often coaches are, are given unders in the in are able to turn around the mindset of the players ultimately it's up to the players to turn it around themselves but the coach has got to put the players in a in a an environment that they can think that they can do it and that that, that probably it doesn't doesn't start and end at halftime on Saturday night it starts back in October last year